Well, hi, it's Marcus and welcome to another Zooming with. Today, we are doing more Adelaide Fringe and sitting Zooming with me via her computer through to mine is the delightful Fiona Smith, who you might know as Faffy Delure. Um, Faffy has got two shows in the Adelaide Fringe this year at Gluttony, Faffy Delure Uncut, which we're going to find out about, and also The Delinquents. Uh, both of them are playing at the Yukio, but also there's a third one. She's also doing Fool's Paradise in Victoria Square called Obsession. Faffy, welcome. Let's find out all about it. Hello, hello. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. Um, tell me about Faffy Delure Uncut. What's that about exactly? So Faffy de Laurent Cut is a feminist style cabaret. So it's all about female empowerment, sexuality, and like expression of everything femme, basically. It doesn't have to be female, but it's all about the femme energy. So it started back in 2016 um, and it's kind of been rolling ever since. So Faffy started to build up a little brand for herself, you know, and all female artists, all female music, everything is just about femme energy. I think that sounds delightful. Now, you're an Adelaide lady, aren't you? I certainly am, yes. Beautiful. How cool is Adelaide, right? Especially at this time of the year. 100%. I live for this time of year. I absolutely live and breathe. I wish it could be like this every month. Yeah. Your hair colour, by the way, is gorgeous. Actually, we've pretty much got the same kind of, yeah. kind of style, haven't we? Yours is just we a do, We do. Um, now, tell <laughs> me about the delinquents, please. So the delinquents differs from Faffy in that it's still a cabaret. There's still dance, vocals, aerial, but this one is set in 1920s London, but it's set in the dressing room. So it's a little peek at like what happens behind the stage. You know, we no artist really leaves the stage for the whole show. So costume changes are happening on stage, little um, tiffs with dancers, stretching, the exhaustion after finishing an act is all for the audience to see. What do you love about the Adelaide Fringe? Why do you keep on coming back for more? I love, I mean, the thirst of hunger and performing, but the reaction and the emotion that is shared between the audience and the artist is just honestly beautiful. That little snippet you get, the glimmer in their eye, the excitement, the amazement, like I just love the emotional journey we both go on. And um, how do you find the, because you've toured your shows um, around, um, how do you find the Adelaide audiences um, for you? Um, how do you, you know, how, what's the difference between other audiences and the Adelaide audience? Well, I would say the Adelaide audience is definitely like my Wugo audience. They're very vocal, which I love. They're super supportive. They also really want to stay and have a chat with you after the show. And they keep coming back year and year. I've had people that have been following and coming to my show since 2016. And they're, they're really loyal. They're dedicated. And um, yeah, I can just see their passion. Um, and why do you love performing so much? Why do you enjoy it? Because you obviously work, um, Fiona is the actual producer, Faffy is the performer. Um, what do you love about performing, but also producing at the same time as well? Um, well, for me, I've always had the love for the stage. Um, I've been, you know, in and out of being on stage since like the age of six in many different disciplines. So there's, I, I'm always going to be drawn back to the stage, but I'm really enjoying more producing, creating and directing and creating like a vision of other people collaborating and just being able to feasibly put things onto a stage. And costume wise, what can we expect? Uh, we can expect one of this little one back here. What? So this is a little um a little tease of a, a costume that's coming for one of my solos for the Faffy I show. That. I love that. And there's can I wear many, that one night, please? With it. Can I yes, absolutely you can wear it. Thank you. Thank you. After, you. after the after the 25th, it's all yours, babe. Yay! Because you can't wear the same thing twice to the Adelaide Fringe unless you're in a show, because then you need yeah. that, clearly. But you know what? I mean, I've got I need a lot of outfits. It's four weeks every yeah. single night. I need some outfit changes. Um, I'm Darling, gonna, just come over to mine. I'm, I'm coming over. I'm coming over. Hey, um, uh, Faffy Delua Uncut and the Delinquents are both in this program here. Bar. Everyone knows this by now. It's been out in about <laughs> a month or two. Um, everyone should have one sitting on their coffee table at home. And you'll find um, lovely Fiona's two produced shows. One on um, page, where are we? One on page 10, right there. It's in the cabaret section, cabaret and variety section. And then you'll find her second one 
on page, um, I think it's following, um, there it is, on page 13, all right? Get onto okay. it, go and grab your tickets because this lady is an incredible performer. She she knows her stuff um, and does it wonderful. Um, you know, so get out and support our local people. We need that so much. Um, but get tickets for everything, especially at Gluttony because Gluttony rocks. Um, now also Obsession, which is at Fool's Paradise, can be purchased. Mm -hmm the Adelaide Fringe Ticks website. Um, you won't find that in the Gluttony program because that is another another area, which is great. Um, can you please tell me, wrapping up, um, lovely Fiona, can you please tell me why people should be getting off their chairs, turning off their Netflix, getting their mobile out with their a ticketing app, whatever you're gonna, however you buy your tickets, and tell them why they should come and buy tickets for your shows. You should absolutely come and buy a ticket for our show. There is nothing more exhilarating and exciting than feeling not only the sweat, but the um, the joy and the performance of watching incredible things that you can't do at home, learning um, how artists create new skills. Like you can, you can see them uh, grow and develop. I've worked with a lot of the same girls over many years and watching them continue to grow each year is just such a beautiful thing. You're going to be excited. You're going to be tantalized, seduced. Oh God, I could I could go on for days. You're gonna, it's going to be emotional. There's some there's some love stories in the shows. There's turmoil. There's lust. It's it's all in there. One stop shop. Ah, I like that. I like a good one stop shop. I hope you don't pay for marketing because you can do it yourself. You know how to sell your show, darling. <laughs> you know. Thank you, thank you. I do quite a lot of it myself, to be honest. I do have an amazing publicist as well, but um, I yeah, I do I do a lot of the writing myself. <laughs> You do it well. You do it well. Um, hey, um, obviously it's Thank going to be a crazy, crazy period. Gluttony alone have got over, I don't know if you know this, but they've got over 170 shows. That's a lot of show. Two of them are yours. Ooh. Um, but can yeah. you I mean obviously yeah. mates in um Adelaide as well? Um, are there any other shows that you're really looking forward to seeing during the Adelaide Fringe this year? What's another standout that you might want? Oh my God, I haven't even had, I feel terrible. I haven't had a chance to go through enough of the calendar. I definitely would like to see um, Queen Kong show. Um, oh my God, I've forgotten the title. Um, oh, it'll come to me. It'll come to me later. But um, yeah, um, Queen Kong's doing an amazing show, which will be incredible. Um, Red District, I'm really keen to see their show. Rouge, of course. Um, and I'm just excited to see what else has come back through to Gluttony. Uh, Limbo, even at um, the Garden, haven't seen them in a while. Just if, and then there's a lots of like beautiful, nice contemporary and theatre shows as well. That's a more. That's going to be a really beautiful dance production. Um, I can't even remember. There's another great couple of theatre ones with Catherine Sortini, who also works alongside me. But I think there's a lot to be able to see outside of just your usual genre. You know, I encourage people to go see dance, go see theatre, see music, see cabaret, hang out in Gluttony, go wherever you want to go. I. 100% agree with you. Totally subscribe to all of that. And you know what? I don't think, um, you know, the moment you're in the Adelaide Fringe um, vibe, um, there's no such thing as a bad show. You know, even the a, a, a bad show is a good show. Get out and just try it all. I think you just get so wrapped up in the energy and the excitement of it all that um, I think you can sit through anything and just have a really good bloody time. Yeah, absolutely. And don't be afraid to go to shows at different time slots just because it doesn't work with your 7, 8 p.m. You know, there have been some amazing circus shows on at like 6 p.m. that have like taken me on a journey and then crazy hectic ones at 11. And, you know, don't. It's fringe. You don't need to sleep. We sleep at the end of fringe. <laughs> yes, I agree. I tell everyone that I've got a little trundle bed sitting underneath the Spiegel tent and I just like lay myself down <laughs> and just wake up and do it all again the next day. Absolutely. Um. Darling Fiona Smith, who is Fafi Delua, um, you are an absolute delight. I'm just going to tell everybody quickly, Fafi Delua Uncut is the 16th of February to the 25th of February, and The Delinquents is the 27th of February to the 3rd of March. Um, I know that for a fact, because I've got that written down. <laughs> Obsession, however, I've got no idea. Can you tell us when Obsession is playing? So Obsession is playing from the 20th to the 25th, so we're actually doing two shows in one night. <laughs> Wow. Which is going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be so using that one a little bit earlier. You're going to need a little bit of a nap. Um, oh, God, yeah. You can borrow my bed. 
it's fine. Of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, you're an absolute delight. I hope everyone goes out and buys tickets to your show. Um, I'm going to come along. I can't wait to see it. I might even give you a review. Let's do that. Let's go. All the <gasps> Stop it. Don't and tease me like that. <laughs> you know I will, honey. You know I will. Um, get out and support um, these shows, everybody, because you know what? They put so much time and effort and energy into these incredible shows. They're so well produ produced. Uh, Fiona is amazing. Her um, skills are incredible. Um, Fafi Delua, you will fall in love with her. Fiona, thank you. Thank you. I'll see you soon.